welcome to story time. My name is Miss Marie and I do story times over at the Blaine Library. But today I'm from my house and I am so happy to have you joining me tonight. We're going to do read some stories, sing some songs, do some movement. Um, story time, you know, is a participatory program. So if you want to sing along, move along with me, that is amazing. Um, but I will just be leading you through and reading you some books. Um, and if you have any questions, we can grab those in the chat. Other than that, I am so happy to have you here this evening. And we'll start off with our welcome song, which you might recognize the tune of. It goes like this. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray. If you want to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray. If you want to hear a story, wiggle your fingers. If you want to hear a story, wiggle your fingers. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, wiggle your fingers. Okay, I think I need to get up and move around. So, if you want to hear a story, give a spin. If you want to hear a story, give a spin. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, give a spin. If you want to hear a story, let's jump, jump, jump. If you want to hear a story, let's jump, jump, jump. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, let's jump, jump, jump. If you want to hear a story, touch your toes. If you want to hear a story, touch your toes. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, touch your toes. If you want to hear a story, can you stand on one leg? Stand on one leg. If you want to hear a story, stand on one leg. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, stand on one leg. Good job, everyone. If you want to hear a story, meow like a cat, meow. If you want to hear a story, meow like a cat, meow. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, meow like a cat, meow. You know what? Let's get one last wiggle out before we read because I think we need it. If you want to hear a story, then skip. Can you skip with me? If you want to hear a story, then skip. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, then skip. If you want to hear a story, sit so still. If you want to hear a story, sit so still. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, sit so still. Awesome, y'all are such good listeners. Now that we're all settled in and sitting so still, let's read our first book. So I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see the book with me and you can follow right along. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, oh, am I at the end of the book? Silly me, goodness me. Let's go back to the beginning here. That is a good place to start any book. What do you think? Awesome. So this is Little Black Crow by Chris Roshka. Little Black Crow. Little Black Crow, where do you go? Let's see. 
Where do you go in the cold white snow? Where do you go? Little black crow, where do you fly in the stormy sky? Look at all those clouds. Whom do you meet in the long wet street? Whom do you meet? Do we see what's there? Is that a bunny? Little black crow, do you ever complain in the wind and the rain? Do you ever complain? Is it enough to have feathers in all kinds of weathers? Is it enough to have feathers? Do you think crow is warm in the cold weather? Little black crow in that tall, tall tree. Are you a boy like me? Do we see a boy anywhere on this page? Over here, maybe over here? With a sister and a brother and a father and a mother. Are you a boy like me? Little black crow, how do you sleep in the forest so deep? How do you sleep? Do you ever worry when you hop and you hurry? Are you ever afraid of mistakes you've made? Are you never afraid? Little black crow, whom do you love in the clouds above? Whom do you love? Is it that gray little dove? Is that whom you love? Little black crow, do you ever wonder about lightning or thunder, about morsels you eat, about creatures you meet? Little black crow in the white snow, in the blue sky, in the brown below. Do you ever wonder about stars you see? Might you ever wonder about someone like me? Is that the little boy we saw earlier on the fence? The end. Awesome, great job listening everyone. Okay, so we've been talking about birds and I have one of my favorite story time rhymes that is about birds. And so we're gonna get our two little beaks up here and we're gonna put them up on our shoulders. And we have two little blackbirds sitting on a hill one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job. Okay, so we're going to have our two little birds, but they're going to be something different, and we'll figure it out this time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud, one named Quiet. And what's the opposite of Quiet? Loud and one named loud. <clears throat> Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Good job. Let's do one more. <gasps> Two little blackbirds sitting on a stick. One named slow. And what's the opposite of slow? Fast or quick. And one named quick. Fly away slow, fly away quick, come back slow, come back quick. Good job everyone, that's awesome. Okay, now I need to get up and stretch and we're gonna do a song that I think you might be familiar with and it goes like this. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everyone. Let's do it one more time now that we've heard it once. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everyone. Y'all are so good at that. Now let's get our roly polies rolling. Can you get your roly polies rolling for me? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly, clap, clap, 
clap. Roly poly, roly poly. Put them in your lap. Good job. Let's do it one more time, everyone. Roly poly, roly poly. Up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly. Out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly. Clap, clap, clap. Roly poly, roly poly. Put them in your lap. Good job. And let's get settled down here. Let's read another book. Let's see what I have here this time. Can share my screen with you. And this time we have a round of robins. And this is written by Katie Hesterman and illustrated by Sergio Ruzier. Awesome. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Turf tune. Defender dad sings, back away, cause mom and I are here to stay. We'll raise a brood and when we're done, we might just hatch another one. Home sweet home, mama is an architect. With skill and patience, she'll collect bits of twig, string, and wool, and hair to form a tiny, twiny lair. Look at that, what is that? Sweet soft grass lines mama's bowl. A muddy middle keeps it whole. It's guaranteed a perfect fit, so all she has to do is sit. Is that a nice nest for mama bird? Accessories, three is too few, mama adds more. Now it's just right, one clutch is four. Let's count up those eggs. One, two, three, four. Four baby birds. Or they will be, right now they're just eggs. Red hot mama, a heater hides on mama's chest to warm each egg inside her nest. With sensors set at incubate, in just a few dozen days she'll make Four little ones all set to hatch. An up and coming birdie batch. Let's count those birdies. One, two, three, four. Inside job. Head and tail, beak and feather, closely cramped all together. Yoke is gone, space is tight. Pack it in one more night. Welcome to the world. What do we see there? Is the egg starting to crack? Pip, pip, an eggshell chip. Peck, peck. A bright blue fleck, tweak, tweak, a peeking beak. <gasps> Cracked, all unpacked. Full house, beaks wide open, eyes closed tight. Wobble, bobble, heads upright. Patchy bodies, missing feathers. Huddle close, huddle, cuddle close together. I wonder what they want with their beaks open. Everybody sleeps. Mama's feathers dim the light, drowsy darlings snuggle tight, balmy breezes rustle tree, babies slumber blissfully. Do we see them in their nest there? Food fight. What do we got there in the beak? <gasps> Jumble jostle, rumble squirm. Dad has landed with a worm. Game of tug of war begins. Biggest bossy baby wins. And what are they saying? Beep, beep, beep. Awesome. Almost a fledgling, sleeping, eating, then repeating, changing, growing, and it's showing, heading in the right direction. Now they're fluffs of plump perfection. Eating and growing strong, eh? Pop Patrol, a high speed chase is underway. Dad swoops and then strikes, he'll make them pay. To crows and jays, dad sends a shout, invade my space, I'll bounce you out. Protecting his babies. Just wing it. Beaks reach to sky. Wings flip, flap, try. One, two, three, fly. Wow. Look at them flying. Fledgling fill up. Wiggle whip, sliggle slip. Wobble sup, gobble up. Worms. Speckled plumpies thrash about. Hopping, plopping in and out. Basking in a birdie pool. Sorry, sparrows. Robins rule. Fledgling spots are fading fast. Baby days have quickly passed. Romping robins roam the lawn, hunting till the worms are gone. Zipping through the hood in flight, rustling in their nest flock at night. On their own, they'll be all right. 
Here they go, grow again. Empty nesters, not so soon. Dad retweets his tough turf tune. Mama builds her second lair, plucks and tucks with utmost care. Are they gonna have more? Eggs, you bet. She lays four more, turquoise blue, just like before. Then in a dozen days, welcome to the world replays. And then they have another set of baby birds. There you go, and it all starts again. Awesome, thank you for being such a listener. After a story, I need to get up and move. So we're gonna get up here. Can you stand up and stretch up high for me? Awesome, and you are tall as a tree. And can you stretch out as far and wide as you can? Wide as a house. <gasps> Thin as a pin, and can you get up all tight and small as a mouse? And can you crouch down low, scrunch up for me? Awesome. Let's stretch up high again. Tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Now, can you get out those wooden spoons or whatever you have if you have pencils, just something you can tap together. Awesome. And we are going to sing a little song that goes like this. So can you get your sticks out for me like this? Awesome. Yeah, I can absolutely show the covers of the books again so you can get the titles and authors, 100%. I can do that at the end if that's all right, Karen. Awesome, okay, everyone. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Who's that at the door? Can you tell me an animal? Let's see. Hmm, do we like cats? I have a cat at home. And what do the cats say? Do they say, meow, meow? There's the cat at the door, meow. Okay, ready? Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Who's that at the door? Awesome, let's see. Is there a dog? Do dogs have tails? And what do dogs say? Do they go, Woof, woof. Can you woof like a dog with me? Woof, woof. Good job, everyone. Let's get those sticks out again. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Who's that at the door? Hmm. We saw a bunch of birds in our books. Was there a crow? And do crows have wings and flat? And what do crows say? Ka, ka, ka. Oh, you got it. Good job, everyone. Okay. Let's get those sticks out one more time. Ready? Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Who's that at the door? Have you guys ever seen an elephant before? Do elephants have big trunks that go like this? Let's wave our trunks like elephants. <gasps> good job, everyone. You are so good at that. My goodness. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm ready to get moving. Can you get your arms going like this for me? And we're going to zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. And on one, we're gonna blast off. And can you jump super high for me? Blast off. Awesome. Let's do it one more time and see if you can go even higher this time, okay? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 
If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And let's go super high. Blast off! Wow! Y'all got even higher this time. I could tell. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's get our last bit of wiggles out here. Ready? We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. We clap and clap and stop. We clap and clap and stop. We clap and clap and clap and clap and clap and clap and stop. We twirl and twirl and stop. We twirl and twirl and stop. We twirl and twirl and twirl and twirl and twirl and twirl and stop. We jump and jump and stop. We jump and jump and stop. We jump and jump and jump and jump and jump and jump and stop. We dance and dance and stop. We dance and dance and stop. We dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Good job, everyone. Now, can you get those roly polies going for me one last time? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly, clap, clap, clap. Roly poly, roly poly, put them in your lap. Y'all have been such good listeners today that I think we have time for one more story and then we'll do our goodbye song, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen one last time and we will get that last book. Oh, and we gotta go back to the beginning. Goodness me. So this one is called Nest by Jory Hurley. Look at that beautiful blue egg. There's the bird. Nest. Wow, look at that beautiful nest. What do we see here? Does it look like they're being rained on? Warm. Oh, so they're nice and warm in their nest, even though it might not be all that warm outside. Hatch. I wonder what we'll see on this one. Is that a baby bird coming out? Wow, what do we see here? Grow. Because mama's giving her baby a worm. Jump. <gasps> do you think this cat is going to jump at the bird? See what happens here. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. Fly. Feast. You find some nice berries. And they're sharing all together. Look at that. Wonder what we're going to see here. Surprise. What's that there? Is that a kite? I wonder who's holding that kite. Hmm, what's going on here? Blow, because the wind is blowing the leaves away. What season is it here? Does that look like snow? Snuggle, because they're getting close for warmth. Oh, what's that? Sleep, because it's nighttime. Awake in the morning. And the sun's coming up. Explore. Oh, I wonder what we're gonna see here. Meet, because the new birds are meeting. Nest. And now they're building a nest again. It's funny how it goes with cycles like that with birds, right? Like they go through the different seasons and they have their babies. But that's how it is sometimes. 
Okay, everyone. It was so nice to read stories with you today. So we're going to do our goodbye song. And in our goodbye song, we use some sign language. So I'm going to teach you those signs before we do the song, okay? So when you're saying goodbye in sign language, you hold your hand up like this, and then you close it. And that's goodbye. Goodbye. And then when you want to say friends, you take your two pointer fingers and you connect them together like this because friends are connected. So that's friends. And then when you want to say time, you point to your wrist like this, and that's time. Good job. And then our last sign is say. So you touch your chin like this with your hand, and then you bring your hand down, and that's say. Awesome. Good job, everyone. So we're going to use those signs and sing our song, and it goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. You got it. Good job. Now, do we know how to say goodbye in other languages? I know how to say goodbye in Spanish. That's what I learned in high school. Oh, that's awesome. So, Let's say goodbye in Spanish and we say, adios. Can you say adios with me? Adios. Awesome. So let's say, adios, friends. Adios, friends. Adios, friends. It's time to say adios. Adios and goodbye, everyone. I was so lovely to have you at story time this evening. Let me put those, um, share my screen again so that you can see the covers of the books that I've read. And that way, if you'd like to read them again some other time yourself, you are more than happy to. So this one was Nest by Jory Hurley. And I'll leave that up for a second here. And then we have a round of robins. And let me get back to the front so you can see the author on this one. Katie Hesterman is the author of A Round of Robins. And then we have Little Black Crow, which is by Chris Roshka. I will pull up that cover so you can see that yourself. Awesome. Give that a little second here. Awesome. Thank you again so much for joining me for story time. Have a lovely evening.